Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number 24 on the CBEST elementary math practice test. It's a great problem. It's going to start integrating some ideas with geometry as well as number sense and operation word problems. So we'll start off we'll start off by reading it over. I want you to as we do this I want you to think about uh, the math behind this and think about the strategies that we're doing to solve a problem like this. All right. Um, first, let's start by reading the top part. It says, use the diagram below to answer the question that follows. Now, whenever they give you a diagram, you can pull a lot of information from this part of the problem. And I actually want you to take even a further step back and, and look at the whole problem for a moment and see that there are three distinct sections. There are, there's a high, the diagram, a middle, which is the scenario and question part, and a low, the answer choices and see with this high, middle, and low section of the problem that you can pull information from it. For example, let's just look at the uh, diagram portion, the high portion. We see a three-dimensional shape with uh, a length, a width, and a height, all in inches. Now, if the question involved finding the volume of this package, it looks like it would be a length times width times height because that's, what we, that's how we find volume. So volume would be something inches cubed. We express volume in terms of in, uh, a unit cubed. So this one, if it was about volume, it'd be about uh, doing length times width times height, and our answer would be in inches cubed. Now, none of the answers are in inches cubed here, so it's not about volume. Well, it could be a question about surface area. Surface area is that stuff here, like finding out the surface area of the wrapping paper, how much wrapping paper you would need. If it was surface area, the answer would be inches squared. And again, there's no inches squared here. In fact, all these um, uh, answers are all one-dimensional distance measures. And that would be for like the distance of, I don't know, the tape or ribbon on, the, on whatever package it is. And so if the, these are all distance measures, this problem has probably something to do with distance of, of this ribbon or this tape. Okay, now I'm going to read the question. I did that beforehand because I want you to get I want you to get in the habit of sort of getting as much information from just the picture and the answers as possible before you jump into the question. This way, you'll have some tools to work with when you start reading it. And and now we're going to read it, all right? Aguilera Manufacturing Company packages a product for shipping by wrapping tape around the package as shown in the diagram. An additional 10% of tape per package is needed for overlap. What is the total length of tape needed per package? Ah, so we're not dealing with volume or surface area. We're dealing with the length or distance of that packing tape. And that is reinforced in uh, what I observed in the answer choices. And uh, I can kind of see that with the diagram itself. All right, good. So I'm trying to find this distance of the packing tape. And once I find that distance of the packing tape, I'm going to add an additional 10% per package. All right, so uh, let's start with this first section of the packing tape. This, this one right here, it wraps around on these two sides and then all the way on the back and then up again. We know that this one has a measure of 15. And since it's on the top and the bottom, there's two of them. So this part is going to be 30. And then this measure here is what? 10, uh, 5. And there's, there's two 5s, right? Because there's one here and here. So we got 2 times 5 is 10. So in total, this one uh, duct tape wrap would be 40%. Everyone agree? OK, I'm hoping that you agree. So we know that one is 40%. So I'll just put 40 over here. The big one is a 40, you're going to need at least 40 inches of wrapping tape just to go around it. Not the additional 10%, just the 40. What about this one? Well, this, this measurement here is 10, and we got two of those. 
and that's uh, 20, and this one, uh, and this one right here is the five. We got two of those, two fives, so that's 10. So in total, this one wrap around is 30. Let's see. When we have two of those, so it's 30 plus 30, would be 60. Is that right? Because there's two wraps. So in total, you're going to need 100 inches just to go around the box, not the additional 10%. Well, if it's 100 inches just to go around, I need 10% more. 10% of 100 is just 10. And if this is 100 is 100%, 10% of 100% is equal to 10 inches. So 100 plus 10 inches is equal to 110%. The answer here is E which I think maybe you could have arrived at if you saw that the one the one uh, duct tape is 40. You probably could have eliminated these other ones because it doesn't seem like those are really going to even work. But um, definitely the answer is e, the answer, sorry, the answer is E, 110 inches. Uh, this is a cool problem. It mixes in elements of geometry and number sense and operations. The, the things that I were that I was doing in the beginning about getting information on the high, middle, and low end I want you to practice that. And I know it I know we took a little extra time doing that, but the idea is that you practice the skill so that if you see it on another problem, an even harder problem, you'll be able to get that one correct. Okay? All right, you're working on those skills, getting better on those strategies. All right, team, the answer is E, 110 inches for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome day. Take care. Bye-bye.